Alright guys, so in this tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to get out of the map on um, Strike Zone. What you first want to do is get some friends. Um, I would recommend two. But, um, yeah. First, you want to put the map on um, Strike Zone, which you might already guessed. And put the game mode on Search and Destroy. Once you do that, go to Round Length on Limited. And you want to do... Um, once you do that, you want to go over to score limit unlimited as well and round switch never. You want to go now. Once you do that, you want to go over to player options number of lives unlimited. And then once you do that, you want to go ahead and you want to go over to team options spectating free. I messed up, but um, kill cam disabled and radar always on. So just do that. And that's it for uh, game setup choices. Once you do that, you won't get a class. Um, you have to get this exact class besides the primary and secondary, which isn't really needed. But um, it's basically the same class that I used in the flooded video. But um, for those who didn't watch that video, I'm just gonna go over it again with you. For primary, I would recommend a light machine gun because of how much ammo it carries. So I'm just going to be using the LSAT in this video, here, what's it? there it is. And you want to put some high damage young perks like muzzle break and rapid fire, so let's just equip them. And for secondary, you want to get a any secondary, I would recommend the gold PDW because of how much damage it deals. And you want to put a muzzle break on it, just because, again, how much damage it deals. So lethal C4. Um, you might see why soon, but, um, agility and marathon you want to use so that you can, um, run to a spot you need to do. Uh, scavenger so you don't run out of ammo. Resilience, you'll see why in a sec. And then, um, you want to go and equip hardline, you'll see why again. So, yeah, let's get into the game. Oh, and by the way, for, uh, strike package, you need juggernaut and, uh, maniac. Alright guys, so now that we're in the game, what you want to do is you want to rush over to your friend's spawn and start killing them. You want to keep killing them until you get um, all of your kill streaks. Not all of them, but those are the maniacs. Oh, the maniacs so, there we go. Once you do that, you and your friends want to go over to the spot. Oh, and by the way, for this glitch to work, or yeah, for this glitch to work, you need to have the chem version of Strike Zone, which you get by just keep doing strike zone. Um, you can't do it by just getting a But once you do that, you want to throw your care package right in that exact spot. Where, right where the shadow ends and where them the little, like, um, holes. And they should stack. Once you do that, you want to jump on top of them like I'm showing you here. Let's just get up here. Hang on. You want to make sure it's one at a time because it won't work if it's everyone jumping on. You want to jump on top of this little green thing and then jump on top of this orange ledge. Then you want to sprint and jump on top of here, so I just try. You want to sprint jump right here, is what I meant. But, um, here we go, let me just try again. I don't know why this isn't working. Oh, there we go. Okay, now that we're up here, you want to get on this ledge. And now I'm just going to wait for my friends get to get up here. Hang on. So, um, once you do that, you want to jump over here to this little black thing you want to jump over. So let's just try this, because there is an invisible barrier, and you want to jump on this little like black thing, and you want to go over, and you want to go on this green pole right here. You want to walk over, and you want to quickly jump onto this window. If you don't, you're going to fall through, because right at the end, there's like a little invisible um, area where you can fall through. Once you do that, you want to walk over here. Um, You will start floating, but don't worry, that is normal. You want to go right in here. And you want to go down these stairs and follow this little um, path right here. You want to crouch down, get under this um, wreckage, go through the wall. Don't go too far out of the wall or else you'll fall through like my friend just did. And you will just want to keep running. And don't worry, it's safe to jump down as long as you have resilience on. If you don't, you will die. You'll think, oh, you just made me fall out of the map. Well, watch this. This is a cool thing about this glitch. You go down, you fall right into this area. Behind you, there's a beach and all this cool stuff. I'm guessing this is the old, um, 
Strike Zone, the not chemed version, the unchemed because there's a stadium over there. So yeah, this isn't too big. You want to be careful for some shadows because the shadows are death barriers and if you touch them, you will die. Um, there are some invisible barriers like right in this parking garage and stuff like that, but um, the beach is pretty safe. You can go in the water and stuff, but if you go too far out, you will die. Like I think if you go like about so far out that, like you can go in the water for pretty far but not too far like if you've ever been to a beach right where the right where the buoys would be um that's where they would be but um yeah i hope you guys um enjoyed this little um, glitch that me and my friends found i don't know if other people i found it they probably have but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little glitch and please Tell me in the comments what you oh, would shit. like to see oh, next. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.